That's a corner. How are they not giving a corner? It was a corner. Um, <clears throat> My good God. 89th minute. Arsenal Football Club have had one shot on target in this entire fixture. I repeat. Arsenal Football Club have had one shot on target in 90 minutes. We are now into, well, we're 30 seconds away from being into the 90th minute. We've had one shot on target in a game where we need one goal and must win. Um, it's now or never, lads, basically. There is Bellerin playing Nicola Pepe in, into the Villarreal box, twisting, turning. Brilliant from Bellerin! Pepe! Bellerin! Just get your foot on the ball. Well played, Pepe. Brilliant. Absolutely brilliant. Absolutely brilliant. Couple of stepovers, beats a couple of men, lays in the Spaniard, and what does he... Yeah, he can't do anything, unfortunately. Here is William with an opportunity to swing the corner in. 90th minute, 50 seconds, and less even, of normal time left. Swung in by William wow. to the fucking no one. Who is that to? What's going on? There's 30 who's seconds down? left of normal time. And right now we're looking at Nicola Pepe, who's gone down. He is injured. No, he's not. He's up. He's calling for a pen. That's what that is a fucking I mean... pen! VAR now! 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 We've got... Are we doing VAR? What the fuck is going on? Sorry, why are we not doing VAR for that? He's just wrestled him to the ground in the box. It's a penalty. We need a pen. We need a pen. We need a pen. I need a pen. We can't. We can't get a pen twice in a row. We don't deserve it, do we? We don't deserve it. We're fucking awful! One shot, 90 minutes. Well done. 90 minutes of football. An hour and a half. All of you combined, all of your big brains, all of your massive brain cells managed to combine for one clotted shot on target. You're the problem. You're the fucking problem. Going on about negativity is the problem. You're the problem! All of you, whole club, you're the problem. You're the fucking problem. From the top to the bottom, you got... How, mu how much injury time have we got? Oh, my fucking oh, God. They haven't even put the injury time up yet, and we have played a minute of it already. He could blow potentially at any second, and we're still passing it backwards! Please, God! Well done, Holding. Holding over to Martinelli. It's cleared, and Arsenal have a throw-in. Four minutes left of injury time. There are five minutes in total. We've played one already. You are watching Arsenal scrambling to make oh anything happen. Burnt Leno forced to come 20 metres out of his right. goal, and we are... Sure. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go with the bullshit. Here we go with the bullshit. Okay. I see how it works. I see how it works. I see. We've got a yellow card being shown here for... The referee doesn't even look like he's sure who it's for. He's just looking for someone to give a yellow card to. Oh, oh he's giving a yellow somewhere. card to Eddie and Ketia, who has literally just come on the pitch. Is that what's going on? Apparently, yeah. Oh, my good God. I don't even see him come on. I don't even know who he's come on for. Three minutes to save... Three minutes. I'm watching this. I'm watching every fucking second of this because I might not watch anyone. I might not watch any more of you. I might not watch you. I might not fucking watch you anymore. I need a break. I need a break from this. You think this is fucking healthy? Do you think this is healthy? You think you're going to... Do you think they're going to fucking fix? Do you think they're going to fix this? They're going to fix this. You could... You had... You, you had... Listen to this here. Yeah? You had one shot on target against Unai Emery. You're done out here. You're fucking done out here. I don't want to hear it. Game fucking over. Two and a half minutes left. Do what you want. Last chance. You're probably cancelled anyway. Let's see it. Eddie and Ketia, that's your answer. Let's, let's fucking see it. Let's see it. This club is... Tom, um, what's going on here, mate? Is this the end? This is it, mate. This is the end. This is how you... One shot on target. You summed it up with that. This is a team that has no motivation, no idea, no style 
no te- no correct team selection. Oh, have he given a free kick? Is he given a free kick for that? Actually, given. Oh my days. Yeah, this is it, bro. This is this is it. We're done. Yeah, it is another fucking silly tackle from Inketi. He could get himself sent off at this. <sighs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> Unbelievable sense. Unbelievable. Well, that's um, it's been fun. Yeah, it's been fun. And sporting Arsenal is uh, it's a roller coaster of emotions. You know, we have been taken on a journey ups and mostly downs uh, recently. And this, I guess, is the culmination of years of fraudulence in the market, years of fraudulence from top to bottom, lackluster players being sold to you as top talents when they are truly fucking mediocre. <laughs> An excuse of a footballer because the 11 fools that I'm watching out there now are not good enough for my club. Yeah? You're a fucking embarrassment. You're a fucking embarrassment. You've got one minute to save yourselves, to save your manager, to save the respect of the name of this club, to save European football. You have got fucking less than 60 seconds. Let's fucking see it. Go! 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 Let's fucking see it. Let's see what you've got. Your big talk. You want to do up tweets and Instagrams about how you're back? Yeah? Are you ready? Are you up for this? Let's fucking see it. 45 seconds, go. Oh my God. How was he not given that? Please make something happen now, mate. Please, God almighty. Please shut me up. I do not fucking have the energy for this. Come on. Martinelli. Square to Thomas Partey. Go backwards! Partey, we're going backwards with 15 seconds left in the Europa League semi-final. You actually love to see it. Pepe, cross that ball. Well done. Headed away. P- headed back in by Pablo Mori. This is it. Last chance affair here. Lacazette in the box. Lacazette loses the ball. Coquelin. <laughs> Coquelin. Coquelin has won the Coquelin has won the ball and Villarreal have won and Arsenal have been knocked out of the Europa League by Unai Emery. It is officially over. It is finished. Your project has failed from top to bottom. We have experienced the worst season in my life as an Arsenal fan. And I don't want to hear any more excuses. I don't want to hear any more propaganda or any more positivity. The club will not be playing European football next season. You're a fucking disgrace. And you will all be suffering. I will be back. We will be going into much depth about this. This is not done. This is no way done but you as a club are finished done finito forget it you're going to get bantered out to all the kids who are Arsenal fans I feel sorry for you I feel really sorry for you but you're going to have to experience life now as a bum yeah because you are a bum being connected to this club you are a you are by association you're a loser and a bum yeah Please understand that this is what represents us. I'm not fucking tolerating it anymore. I'm not tolerating this anymore. They've got to go. Players, get gone. You're fucking finished. Manager, you're not even a manager. Get gone. You're not good enough yet. Yeah, sorry. Maybe you will be one day. Maybe you won't. Who knows? You failed. You're a fucking fraud. And we've been outdone by Unai Emery. People at Arsenal, listen close. You got it wrong. You've been mugged off. Now run along and fix the fucking situation. We're all waiting. And if you don't think, don't think for a second that we're going to be going anywhere. Yeah? I've seen this club drag from the fucking top of the hierarchy down to the fucking bottom. And right now we are sinking in the mud. No European football. That's going to mean no money. Do you think Cronky's putting more money in? Or any money in? We need something to change. It's now up to us, yeah? It's now up to us. I want to see action. I'm seeing Emery celebrating at the Emirates. Do you know the shame that I am filled with? I'm trembling with rage. Jesus Christ, give me strength right now. This club is finished. I don't want to hear it. Don't talk to me about Arsenal. Don't ask me about Arsenal. Don't tweet me about Arsenal. I do not want to know about Arsenal. Finished. Talk to me about football. Talk to me about ballers. Talk to me about life. Talk to me about pep. Talk to me about style. Talk to me about Wenger. Talk to me about class. Talk to me about trophies and being in a fucking Champions League tournament that's worth talking about. Not this. You dragged me to this Thursday night bullshit anyway. 
You made me come to this shit. I didn't want to be associated with this. I fucking blocked Europa League account. These people were tweeting me. By association, I do not want to be involved. You know what? Fuck you. You, you, this is what you deserve. The, the passion, yeah? The commitment that it takes to stick with you through all this. I've had enough. I need a break. And I'll tell you what, heads need to roll. Heads need to fucking roll. People need to be taking responsibility for this. You cannot be sinking us to this level consistently. This is confirmation of it now. You had one job, one manager, and one bang average team who i got to give complete congratulations to. You were the better side over the fucking 180 minutes by far, by far, by far. Unai Emery is laughing. He will be so respectful. One of the most humble managers out. He'll be so respectful. He'll probably say that Mikel Arteta deserves to keep his job. Let me tell you this straight now. You don't. You don't. That's the simple sorry fact of the matter. And if you think that he does, please bring it on. Let's do it. I will live debate you on live fucking YouTube. Let's go. I've had enough. Serious change needs to happen. Serious, serious change and serious investment. To be a winner at this level. Oh, good God almighty. We are so far off. It's unbelievable. Tom, I'm sorry, mate. I've gone on a fucking mad one. Please talk to me. No, man, I'm done. It's over. But you summed it up perfectly. It's over. It's done. This this club is not going to go anywhere with what we've got. As you said, from the top to the bottom, it's over. It's done. It's finished. This it is Arsenal needs something. Something. What even is something? Just not this. One shot on target. One shot on target at home against Villarreal and Unai Emery. What more is there to say, really? It's done, mate. It's over. See you soon. Mate, thanks for joining me. Uh, um, I was going to say I enjoyed it, but I really didn't. Um, this is, nope. uh, this is, yeah, I'm going to need to rethink exactly what's going on here. I don't know how to approach this. I don't actually know why I even bothered watching the game. I should have fucking gone to the protest and tried and lie down in front of a bus. That would have been much more productive. Uh, yep. Probably would have helped the club a little bit more as well. Um, unfortunately, we've been beaten by the better side tonight. And a manager who has an incredible amount of success and experience in this competition has outclassed his opponent over the two legs and they deserve it so do you think that Arsenal jumped the gun by getting rid of Emery or do you think that we have just oh, downgraded by bringing in Arteta no. yeah 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 right yeah we are yes yes mate I'm gonna love you and leave you I'll see you in the next one have a good one bro if there is ever a next one, thanks to Tom Canton from the Guna Talk TV for joining us. As we can see on the night, Roma beating Manchester United 3-2, but to no avail. That one is going to finish 8... What is it? 8-5? Mad. Incredible scenes. Um, Arsenal Football Club, though, uh, unable to create more than one shot on target. Isn't that amazing? Look at that. One shot on target against a Villarreal side that had seven. They didn't even need to score. And they had seven times the amount of shots on target. And you think that I'm giving you late night fraudulence. I'm dead. I'm finished. It's over. You're not getting it. Papering over the cracks is something that Arsenal have been accused of doing in recent times, but tonight I really would have enjoyed just papering over this crack, getting to the final and having a puncher's chance.
But it wouldn't have been anything more than that, would it? Realistically, we're a bang average side, and that's why we're in mid-table mediocrity, floating around in the sea of nothingness, yeah? meaninglessness, irrelevance, pointlessness, playing fixtures, which they tried to convince me were worth £15 a pop, plus the uh, £50 a month or whatever the fuck else it is, to watch this type of dross on a regular basis. You are actually trying to convince me that this football club with Stan Crunky and Josh Crunky, Crunky, Crunky Sports and Entertainment, that they are serious about taking this club to the top. To the top. To the top of where? To the top of the fucking championship? You'd be lucky. You'd be lucky. You wouldn't finish top of the championship, you fucking delusional fraud. I'm sick of this. I'm sick of this being accepted as well. I'm sick of this being the norm. This will be... I want to see how they respond. Yeah. I want to see how they will respond. Because if they try to convince me that we're fine, don't worry, we're just going to move forward. This is still the plan. We've got big plans. We're going to smash the cash. Um... I will have to speak up, yeah? Because I'm not going to be lied to anymore. I've been mugged off for many a year, and so have you. We need to stop having it, yeah? This is part of the problem. We're accepting it by buying new fucking Arsenal tops. Pink, green, and blue neon Arsenal tops. What have these colours got to do with my club? You absolute sellouts! Stop giving us five kits a year and actually buy a player that is going to fix the team. Bring in a manager or coaching help that is going to help to fix the team. Show us your intentions instead of talking, because that's all you do. You don't even do enough of that. Talking, that's all I hear. Talk. Josh, oh, I want to hear what these fuckers have got to say. I want to hear what they've got to say. I want to hear what you've got to say as well. Anyone who backed him, anyone who backed him, I understand. Now that we have seen with new information, we reassess. Yeah? We reassess. It was fine, backing him before the game, super confident. Oh, mate, I even fucking said we are in the final! Muggy! You fucked me. You've actually fucked me. You fucked me. Well done. Well done. Cheers. Cheers, mate. Cheers. Cheers. Cheers for that. Cheers for that. Yeah. Oh, do you know what? Do you know what's funny? Huh? Do you know what's funny? For a lot of people, they can just switch this off. Yeah? They can just switch it off and be like, oh, fucking Arsenal lost, TV off. You see me, I will wake and I will think Ross. I will sleep and I will think Ross. You let us down again. You are supposed to be my fucking bloodline! They don't represent me. They do not represent me at all. You think they represent me? Me! Do you understand me? I'm about art, yeah? I'm about consistency. I'm about loyal, yeah? Winning. I'm about competing at the highest level. Excellence. You, you do not represent me in the slightest. Not one fucking iota in your body. No strong DNA in your cart whatsoever. Losers. Losers. You think me... Me would be in a, another European fucking semi-final with a chance again. What is that? The third one in five years or something. Third in, four, third in four or five years. And you couldn't get that done against them. Against them. Disgraceful. Disgraceful. Unexcusable. Unforgivable. And you shall never be forgiven. I never forgave you fuckers when 6-0 against Chelsea. You think I'm ever going to forget that? Oh, mate. Oh, I swear to God, every single one of you cancelled for life. Do you understand? Cancelled for life. Forget cancel culture. Yeah? Lifetime bans. You never get to re-enter the fray of trust. The circle of trust is small. Yeah? Small! I'm going to see people who will tweet positivity. I'm going to see... Oh, Pablo Mari was so good. Oh, he's so composed. 
Oh, Thomas Partey was breaking up play so well. Oh, we should sign Odegaard. I've had a, listen, I don't want to fucking hear it. Flush out the club. Top to bottom. Not one soul stays. No leaders. No fucking balls. Do you know what? Pepe, bro, you did well. Pepe, you did well. You did well. You fought. I can tell Pepe was fighting. You can tell when someone gives a shit. Well done. You know the saddest thing is, right? All around the world, there's going to be people who are fucking broken, who are actually in pieces, who are actually not going to know how to carry on, or are not going to know how to fucking fix their mentality now that Arsenal are not going to Europe, and we are finished! And you know who is going to be able to cope with it? Them. They'll be fine. They'll be at their yards tonight doing PlayStation with bottles of champagne in the fridge, in the mansion, yeah? Driving home in the Bugatti, yeah? The buck stops with the man at the top, right? There's no point in going to Sainsbury's and starting shouting at the workers. They don't make decisions. They're workers. These fuckers are workers and nothing more, yeah? You're on minimum wage in comparison with the big boss. The big fat cheese CEO, that's who I want to talk to, yeah? You're the Don who's got stuff to answer for. You're the Don who's letting this go. You're the Don who's put this fucking super plan together and I'll tell you what... Oh, I tell you what, trust the process, hashtag be excited. Oh, mate, I'm excited, all right? My fucking blood pressure's going through the roof, you cunt. Listen, you have finished my club. You should be fucking ashamed of yourself, and I hope I'll never catch you in a dark alley, I swear to God. Oh, fuck off. If you've WhatsApped me tonight, yeah, fuck off as well. I will block you, Clark. I don't give a shit if you're family or not. Everyone's got something to say now, yeah? You want to say something now? Okay, funny. Funny stuff! Real funny. I'm here for it. I'm here for it. This is the labour of love that, la that Arsenal have left me with. Yeah, the scars that I carry on my back! I used to laugh at Liverpool. Do you know that? I used to laugh at Liverpool. Like, wow, you dons are actually amazing. You were so relevant in the 70s. <laughs> well, that was fucking fraudulent, wasn't it? Because now Arsenal are on an 18-year wait since their last title. It is five years or more since we've been in the Champions League. And the fact of the matter is, yeah, my mum's a Chelsea fan, Yeah. West London Donnies. I should be dripping in sauce right now. Life is choices. That's all it is. Every day, every moment, it's a fresh choice, a chance to make things right, to do the right thing. I did the wrong thing, I think. <laughs> I chose the wrong club. You gave me a fucking couple years of glory, bro. <laughs> couple years! Yeah. Okay. So... Let's deal with where we are. Um, I'm going to go through the comments so I can see plenty of frauds want to talk. I can see frauds want to talk. Uh, Silas Sosa. Sosa. Do you know Sosa? Sosa's a killer. Yeah. Cold-hearted, ruthless killer. Sosa. Yeah. Do you think Sosa would let this kind of thing happen? No. No. No.